Well, praise God and welcome back again to another sector here at the Prophetic Corner. I am Pastor Lopez and today we have some great encouraging words. Today we're going to be talking about allowing yourself time to change. Don't be too hard on yourself. Little by little and day by day, you will start tasting the rewards of change. Look at the patience of God with Israel. He had much patience with them. He knew that they were but flesh. He took many years to even train their leader, Moses. You are not an exception. Every man fails. Champions simply get back up and begin again. Give God time to work. Sometimes those things you desire the most may take longer to achieve. It takes longer to make a Rolls Royce automobile than to make a bicycle. Millions of miracles have been dashed on the rocks of impatience. Give God time. Something good is happening that you don't see. Wait joyfully with great expectation. Galatians 6 and 9 teaches us that. And let us not be weary in well-doing. Why? Because we sure we are sure to reap if we faint not. So I encourage you just to hold on. If you're going through something and you believe in God to help change some ways or some circumstances in your life, don't be so hard on yourself and don't beat yourself up about if it's not happening in a timely manner that you would desire it to have. Because we know some things take time. It takes us as women nine months to have a baby or sometimes 10 months. So we just don't automatically, we get pregnant and we have the baby the next day. No, we plant a seed in the ground. We trying to grow an apple tree. We plant the, the apple seed, but we're not going to reap a harvest the next day. So it's the same way with change inside of your life. We have to endure in patience and we have to allow God to work his perfect work in our lives so we can be thoroughly equipped in every good work. So I encourage you just to hold on, continue to read your word, continue to go to church and go to Bible study so you can get encouraged because the Bible does teach us that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. And as we do that, we get encouraged every time we go, every time we hear the word of God. So don't beat yourself up. Just hold on a little while longer. Just continue to pray and fast and believe that God is going to continue to move you and put you in a place that you are desiring and requiring to be in. Until next time, thank you much. Thank you so much for listening and tuning in. Until next time, God bless.